Welcome back everybody to TechPress. I'm going to be showing you how to make your website mobile friendly. There's two ways of how we can do this. So let's jump directly into the tutorial. The very first thing you want to do is to focus into the store that you wanted to check it out and to make it friendly for your mobile. Let's go and select and edit your site. Once you have available a website totally now created inside your new dashboard section, as you can see, I have the welcome back section, I have my dashboard, I'm going to go into my design side so I can check it out how it's going to be looking my store. In order to make this mobile friendly, what you want to do is to edit this directly, not from a mobile, but as a preview of how it's going to be looking your product, your site into an actual mobile. And for that is to go directly here into the upper side. And here, as you can see, I have the desktop view. I switch to mobile. And check it out how all of the elements are going to be moving automatically. So as you can see, it is now looking a little bit more easier to edit it. So as you can see, um, it's not looking that bad. I can do a little bit better. For example, let's say that I choose this element and I have this text and I want to make this a little bit more smaller. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing with this new subtext. Let's say for example like this. Or I can just even leave it like that and change these in here. There we go. So as you can see, it's now uh, looking a little bit not that all compressed, but I'm going to be taking my time to edit this stuff here as I'm just getting started with. So I can choose this feature post once again. I make this a little bit more smaller. I have this image in here. I can choose to change the settings directly here into settings. I have the post list and I can go into the display, the, che the checkout, the layout, the design and much more. Enable mobile settings is going to be help me to change, for example, the one column. I can change this from one column stuffed into side by side, or maybe I can go into uh, magazine, magazine, and a slider. So usually, what I do love to, to use is a magazine because it's going to be a little bit more faster to use. So as you can see now, it's not looking that bad. So this section, I can do exactly the same thing with this new section. So I can go here into settings, go into design or the layout. Enable the mobile settings and change this as a magazine. So check it out how now it's going to be looking much more easier to use. Even the about me section can be changed as you are managing your columns directly. For example, pick up a column, column number one and column number two. So let's say I can move this a little bit up instead of the training thought. So my section of the about me is now inside here. And now this subscribe section, I don't want her to see this. So I can go into hide the section from the mobile. Usually I can try to adjust the section height to double click or remove any extra space. For example, let's say I wanted to just move this a little bit like this so I can give a little bit more space through my sections. So I scroll a little bit down and as you can see now this section of subscribe, I needed to move this column. So I go into manage my columns, pick an action, let's say for example this one and I move this once again a little bit down, let's say all the way down like this, subscribe. So. After you have successfully done all your new information and check it all of that, let's go into save, save and continue, preview, and how it's going to be looking my product when I check this out into a phone number. So as you can see, I have like a preview of a phone, of a mobile, of how it's going to be looking my final results. So train of thought, we have made this a little bit more smaller. The section of the magazine is actually looking a little bit much better. So it's a little bit more compressed, but easier and friendly to the phone. So try to emulate that we are into a mobile device. And usually into a mobile device, you wanted to get a little bit more closer to our eyes. So you wanted to make things a little bit more smaller and not that huge into a actual desktop as you're just getting started with. The second way how we can do this, if you're just getting started with a new website, is to go here back. Let's go into sites and applications. And let's say that I wanted to get started with a new section a new website so usually what I do is to get started here with go to my sites and create a new site and usually here to create a new site what you wanted to do is to type let's say mobile so here into mobile friendly I have mobile applications mobile phone number phone store app developer home dealer marketing portfolio and usually these templates are mobile friendly so you just need to hit what you're actually looking for hit into next and it's going to be showing you a lot of templates so usually here just add let's say for example billboards and it shows me what are the elements that i wanted to add into my store so i'm going to hit let's say for example like an instagram feed i begin with a template 
and inside we begin with a template i click here and you wanted to choose only mobile marketing portfolio and take it out the elements uh how it's going to be looking for example this one this is like the best match so far so i can hit into view and instead of going with the desktop view let's go for this one a phone view a mobile view so check it out it's actually looking really great i can try to make these things more smaller and all of that so as you can see it's not looking that bad both options are totally great for people who are getting started for mobile stuff into wix so guys with that being said we have now reached the pretty end of the video but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of wix and mobile device design stuff thank you so much for watching the video guys hopefully we can all see you next time